And is that a planet? Oh, it is, Tabs. Whoa, there's a whole area out there in space with the planets and the sun. It's called the solar system. Hmm, I wonder, what planets are in the solar system? Good idea, Tabs. Let's go into outer space. I'm gonna need a rocket booster. Rocket booster. Confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Now it's time to get planet size. Growing up. <laughs> right, Taps, we're in space. Whoa, it's a meteor. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to Outer Space, I marry the meteor. I'm here to find out about all the planets in our solar system. There are eight planets in our solar system. Let's meet them, shall we? Closest to the blazing sun are the two smallest and hottest planets, Mercury and Venus. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. that is hot. We should go. The third planet is your home, Earth. Hi, Mom. Then there's Mars, the red planet. Mars is red because it's covered in rusty soil. <laughs> That's a lot of dust. Come on. Next up is the giant Jupiter, bigger than all the planets combined. He doesn't scare me, though. Whoa, we should go. We sure are a long way from the sun now. Welcome to Saturn and her rings. Whoa, they look beautiful. Can we get closer? Of course. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. yeah, wee. Wait, we haven't finished yet. On your left is Uranus, billions of miles from the sun, pretty cold. Now let's hear it for the furthest, windiest, and coldest planet, Neptune! Whoopie? Whoa! I have the answer to my question. What planets are in our solar system? Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for the tour, Mary. That was wild. See ya, Blippi. Time for a shower. A meteor shower! Bye, Mary the Meteor. What a nice day for a quiet drive. Whoa! Attack of the Bubbles! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Debo. Bubbles pop when you touch them. Hmm, I wonder, how do you make bubbles? <laughs> Great idea. We'll follow the bubbles to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. The bubbles are from the car wash. Let's give it a wash. Hi. Oh, good boy. I'm Marvin. Marvin Bubbly. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how to... Wait a second, are you a pop star? Oh, <laughs> sure am. 
my mom loves you! Thank you, thank you very much. You're far too kind. So, what are you here to learn? Better button turn. Bebo and I are here to learn how bubbles are made. So glad you asked. The surfaces of bubbles are soft. Ooh, which makes them pop easily. That reminds me, we need more bubbles. And I know just the fella to show you how. Hmm, can you guess? It's me, Marvin Bubbly. Come on. <laughs> Whoopsies. The first step is to get water. Then we need some soap to mix with it. And shoo ba doo poop Voila! You make bubbles! And look how they float! Us bubbles can float like that because we're just air that's trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Whoa! So bubbles are made by blowing air into soap! That's right! Which reminds me... Let's make some more bubbles! And I know just the fella to show you how! It's you! It is me! Just dip your hands in the water Get them sized up on the soap Make a circle with your hands and blow! Whoa! It's bigger than you! Check this out! Catch me if you can! <laughs> I've got new heights to reach! Keep flying high, Marvin! And thanks for helping me get the answer to my question. How are bubbles made? They're made when air gets trapped inside a thin layer of soapy water! Upload answer, Devo! <laughs> Bye-bye, Marvin! Bye-bye, Blippi! Bye-bye, everyone! Oh, no! Debo, look how the water is carrying the Frisbee far away towards that island! Hmm, I wonder, why don't islands float away? You're right! Let's go ask the island and find out! I'm gonna need helicopter blades and duck feet! Helicopter blades, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> the Flippy Mobile is ready for adventure! Oh, hello up there! Hey, it's me, Blippy, and this is Debo. <laughs> nice to meet you both. I'm Ivan. Ivan, why don't you float away? Hmm, I think it has something to do with my bottom. Oh, I know. Let's look underwater where my bottom is to find out. Oh, wait. I can't see down there. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It would be great if you sucked up the water so we could see the bottom better. I can't wait to see what's down there. Okay, Debo. Drink up. <laughs> wow! These colorful coral reefs are so beautiful! We can see so much now! And Ivan, you're way bigger than I thought! Thanks! I'm even bigger! You're only at my belly button now, see? Oh! Debo, can you drink up more water so we can see the bottom? <laughs> Are you okay, Debo? <laughs> Ivan, you have so many amazing things on you. Hey, wait, are we at the bottom now? No, you have reached my knees. Still a bit of a way to go. Do you think you've got one more big gulp left in you, Debo? We're so close to being able to see the bottom. Woohoo! I knew you did. You made it, Blippi! <laughs> You're at my feet. Really? How can you be sure? Because <laughs> it tickles when you walk around! <laughs> Ivan, you're attached to the bottom of the sea! 
You're like a mountain! <laughs> oh! Demo! Oh no! Well, that was fun. And now I have the answer to my question. Why don't islands float away? Islands don't float away because they are mountains attached to the seafloor. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for all your help, Ivan. You rock. Hope to see you again. Anytime. I'm here to stay. Bye bye, Blippi. Easy. Careful now. Whoa, I'm hungry. Ah, this cereal is soggy. Hmm, I wonder, why does cereal get soggy? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and find out. I'm gonna need wings, duck feet, and the grabber arm. Wings, duck feet, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. <laughs> Ready for adventure! You're right, Diva! It sure is hard! Attention! Whoa! Huh? Who are you? I'm Scooper the Spoon! That's Sergeant Scooper the Spoon to you! Hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn why cereal gets soggy. Well, you came to the best of the best. These crunchy pieces of cereal are as hard as nails. The only problem is we got incoming milk in T-minus 30 seconds. What huh? happens then? The cereal gets all wet, Blippi. At first, it may seem like cereal is 100% solid, but if you look closely, it's actually porous. That means full of tiny little holes. Good idea, Debo. I'll go gather some intel, and you stay here on the lookout. Shrinking down again! It's like a cave made of cereal. All those holes you're flying through are open space for milk to fill and make the cereal soggy. Then it expands and falls huh? apart. Milk in command! Whoa! The cereal is falling apart! Time to get out of here! Growing up! No time to float around! We've got a cereal rescue mission to huh? complete! Now that the milk has infiltrated the cereal, we've got to scoop fast before the cereal gets soggy. We're on it. Oh, no! I got it! You see, in the few minutes the cereal has been in milk, it has absorbed the liquid through the hole. A lot like how a sponge absorbs water. With your help, we got all the cereal out safely. Well done, troops. Thanks, Sergeant Scooper. And I got the answer to my question. Why does cereal get soggy? Cereal gets soggy when milk fills in the tiny holes of the cereal and causes it to expand and fall apart. Upload answer, Debo. Goodbye, Blippi. Bye-bye, Sergeant Scooper. Thanks for the scoop. Gigantic truck! You're right, Debo. I think that was a monster truck. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a monster truck special? Good idea! We can catch up with that monster truck and find out. I'm gonna need monster truck wheels. Monster truck wheels confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Debo? Whoa, Debo! 
Whoa! You have the monster truck wheels attachment? <laughs> You're like a monster truck! All right, let's ride! Debo the monster truck is ready for adventure! Crash! Crash! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo! You really crushed that car! Hi, Blippi! I'm Megan! So, Megan, we're here to find out what makes a monster truck special! Cool! Well, I think the best way to answer your question is to show you what I do! Great! You see, I'm a monster truck with big, tall, monster tires! I'm 13 feet tall! Wow! Let's do this! All right! <laughs> huh? Huh? Crash! Whoa. Ah. Whoa. We can't bounce as high as you, Megan! And, oh boy, we're almost tipping over! Well, I have heavy-duty suspension with your special springs so I can bounce way up and down and not tumble over. <laughs> I use them when I race Whoa. and have competitions. Cool! Whoa. Welcome aboard, Rippy! Buckle up! It's time to dominate the obstacle course! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. Oh. Whoa! This is awesome! Whoa. How can you turn and zigzag so fast? I have something called four-wheel steering, so I can turn all four oh. wheels at once, instead of just two wheels like a lot of regular trucks. Us monster trucks are built for short, high-powered bursts of speed! I nailed that! Megan, that was amazing! And I have the answer to my question. What makes a monster truck special? Monster trucks are a special kind of truck with big tires, heavy duty suspension, and four wheel steering. Upload answer, Debo. Bye, Megan. It was so cool to ride with you. Bye, Blippi. Keep on crushing. <laughs> Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. Huh. Well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijan, are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. The nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look fun. 
funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa! Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Woo yeah. Holy smokes, a volcano. That's right, Debo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out. I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield. Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! <laughs> is ready for adventure. Let's go through the side vent into the volcano. Whoa, whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here. Whoa! Hey there, I'm Maggie the Magma Monster. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher. That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew, that was close. Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. 
up on and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the chew crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. Upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling teeth. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Mmm, yum! These turkey sandwiches are going to be delicious! Oh, what a mess! Hey, look at that fly walk on the ceiling! Hmm, I wonder, how do flies walk on the ceiling? I'm gonna need wings and spider legs. Wings, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, Devo, I think I know that fly. It's Horace. Hi, Blippi. How's it going, pal? How did you get on the ceiling? Oh, it's easy. Watch this. Ta-da! Wow! Yes, sir -y. The ceiling is my own personal dance floor. Skip it. Now you try. Here goes. Whoa! Why can't the Blippi Mobile stand on the ceiling too? What's the trick? Here's the trick! You've got to stick! Stick? Mm-hmm. You see, my feet make a super sticky glue that helps me stick to the ceiling. Here, try some! Don't mind if I do. Here goes. Whoa! I stick to the ceiling too. Look at all that mess! Oh! Oh! The glue has a stuck in place! That's because you're not doing the fly leg twist! The fly leg twist? That's right! Fly glue is so strong that we have to push ourselves off the ceiling to walk! Like this! Like this? You got it! Now let's hit it! Do the fly leg twist! Do the fly leg twist! And get your feet unstuck when you go like this! We did it! And I have the answer to my question. How do flies walk on the ceiling? Fly legs have a special sticky glue that keeps them stuck to the ceiling. Upload answer, Debo. Well, I'm off to eat a little bit of dinner now. <laughs> See you later, Blippi. Bye-bye. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. <coughs> wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky and you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. 
hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm. I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down! Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! <laughs> I'm Horace the Fly. Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoopsies. Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush! <laughs> Sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? <laughs> Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good though, gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha, which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24 seven all I can eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace! Thanks! Cheers, Blippi! I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinky down! The Blippi Mobile is Ready for adventure! Rock and roll! That sounded great! I love it! Thank you! <laughs> hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky! We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> Well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. 
Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow, that was loud. Right. Practice is over. Time to jam! One, two, three, four! Thank, Thank you! <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. I love being at the beach. Whoa, a flying fish. Hmm, I wonder what's underneath the ocean? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the ocean and find out. I'll need duck feet and a propeller. Duck feet, propeller, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow, it's a whole other world down here. Is this like some kind of underwater forest? Exactly, it is a forest. Welcome to my neighborhood. My name's Jerry, Jerry the Jellyfish. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're down here to see what's in the ocean. Oh yeah, there's a lot. The ocean's full of surprises. I'll show you. I'm going to meet my friends. Well, I'll give you a tour along the way. All right, thanks, Jerry. First stop, our kelp forest. This kelp can grow up to 150 feet. Wow, that's so tall. Oh yeah, but sometimes the water current around here blows the kelp around. Kelp, kelp! Oh no, this never happens. Great idea, Tabs. Let's use the turbo boosters. Oh good, glad you're okay. Let's move on. Whoa, that fish is blue and has a long nose. She's a blue marlin. She uses her nose to find and catch food. She's also really fast. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, this never happens. <coughs> yeah, Tabs, it is dark in here. Wherever we are. Jerry. Jerry? Blippi, is that you in there? Oh no, hold on. <sighs> Whoa! I scared a gray whale and she blew you right out of her blowhole? That never happens. Thanks for getting us out of there, Jerry. Oh, you're all lit up. I told you the ocean was full of surprises, didn't I? Hey, look, it's your friends. Hiya, pals. You guys found me. And I found the answer to my question. What's underneath the ocean? There's a kelp forest, blue marlins, huge whales, and a jellyfish that lights up. Upload answer tabs. And we're only on chapter one. In chapter two, there's an octopus and a shark and a sea turtle and a tuna. Bye, Jerry. Oh, and there's an otter and a seahorse and a lobster and a stingray. Whoa, look at that, Tabs. It's an adorable kitty cat. <laughs> and look at those super long whiskers. Hmm, I wonder, why do cats have whiskers? Great idea, Tabs. Let's follow that kitty cat and find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. Ready for 
adventure. Do you see any kitties yet, Tabs? Whoa, what was that? Hey, it's me, Blippi. What's your name? Hippley's the name, and treats are my game. Say, you aren't holding out on me, are you? <laughs> holding out on what? Shh. Treats. I can smell them like hot cakes in the morning. They're close. Hurry, follow me. Wait for me. You land so perfectly. My whiskers have special sensors that help keep me oriented, so I always land on my feet. Like this. Aha. Do you think you can fit? My whiskers help me determine if I can fit through the passage without getting stuck. See? I told you. <clears throat> Come on, Blippy. It's so dark. How can you see anything? When I can't see what's around me, my whiskers tell me when something's there. Ah, oh, rats. No treats in here. But we must be close. Come on, y'all. What else can your whiskers do? Even the slightest breeze can tell me information about my environment and what direction a smell is coming from. My whiskers are telling me that the treats are... Woo! There! Woo! Jackpot! <laughs> Would you look at that? Woo-hoo-hoo! I'm happier than a pig in mud! What a great adventure, Kipley! We found the treats! And I got the answer to my question. Why do cats have whiskers? Cats' whiskers help them navigate their environment and help them keep oriented so they always land on their feet. Upload answer tabs. Bye bye Kipley! Thanks, Blippi. It was great to have you as a sidekick on this adventure. Bye, y'all! Whoa! Look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo? I think it is helping build the building. Hmm. I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. <laughs> I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really <coughs> heavy bricks. <gasps> Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness. 
Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now let's finish the job! <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. Whoa! What is that? <laughs> You're right, Debo. I think he's setting up for Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Hmm, I wonder, how do you celebrate Dia de los Muertos? <laughs> Great idea! We'll go ask him and find out. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> oh, hi, I'm Paco. Paco, what are you making here? I'm making an ofrenda. It's part of a Mexican celebration where we remember the family members who are no longer with us. But I have a problem. What's wrong? I don't remember anything about my great abuela Rosa. I need to know what things she liked so I can make a proper ofrenda for her. <laughs> great idea, Debo. We can go back in time and meet your great abuela Rosa. Just follow us. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings! Wings confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Going back in time! Whoa, where are we? Welcome to Mexico! Great Abuela Rosa? Yes? Hi, it's me, Paco, your great-grandson from the future. <gasps> Hola, mijo. And who are your friends? This is Blippi and Divo. Hello. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Hola. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you don't know how to make a proper ofrenda for me. Well... Nope, he doesn't. <laughs> Bueno, I will show you all my favorite things. Come on! The first thing huh? I love is riding. Fast! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! You're really fast! My second favorite thing is oranges! They are so juicy and sweet! Mmm! Yeah! <gasps> oh no! We can make orange juice! <laughs> Follow me! Okay, my third favorite thing is... Musica! I love music! Well then, you must dance! Thank you, Blippi, for helping me learn about my great Abuela Rosa. You're welcome, Paco. And I got the answer to my question. <laughs> to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, you can make an ofrenda with the things that truly represent the spirit of our loved ones. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Paco. Bye, Blippi. <laughs> Ready, Debo? <laughs> Three, two, one! <laughs> yeah, it's not quite what I envisioned. I wish I could make a few changes. <gasps> oh, yeah! I can use an eraser! Hmm, I wonder, how does an eraser work? <laughs> Great idea, Debo! We'll shrink down and get a closer look. 
I'm gonna need a grabber arm and helicopter blades. Grabber arm, helicopter blades, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Hmm, even up close, it sure does need some changes. Maybe I can help. Huh? I am the amazing Ernie! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. We're here to learn how an eraser works. Well, you came to the right eraser because I can make anything disappear. Even pencil markings. That's amazing! Come see, it's the best show in town. The tip of a pencil is made of graphite, and when you rub it on paper, it leaves a mark. Cool! Uh, huh. Let's take a closer look through a magnifying glass. Graphite gets left behind on the paper because it actually sticks to the paper. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Huh? I got it! Phew! That was close! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, Ernie, can you erase this graphite mark? Oh, what a great idea! I will make that mark disappear by erasing it. When an eraser like me rubs against the paper, it creates friction and heat. Awesome! The heat makes the eraser stickier than the paper, so the graphite comes loose from the paper and sticks to the eraser instead. Friction also causes the eraser to disintegrate or fall apart. See the small bits coming off? <laughs> You've got a few on you. Oh, they're cute. Wrap the eraser on the paper enough, and boy, oh boy, the graphite comes off. Ta-da! My disappearing act. Oh, that's amazing. Was it magic? No, it's science. Cool. And I got the answer to my question. How does an eraser work? Erasers work by using friction to make them stickier than paper. So the graphite on the paper clings to the eraser. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for the magic show, Ernie. Now it's time for us to disappear. Goodbye, Blippi. It was magic to meet you. Me too! I love looking at spooky houses decorated for Halloween! Wow! Look at all the jack-o'-lanterns! Let's go check it out! Hi! Flippy! Yikes! Oh! Hello, Mr. Pumpkin! You scared me! You're welcome, Flippy! I love to be scared! It's fun! <laughs> It is? Hmm, I wonder. Is it really fun to be scared? Only one way to find out. Let's have a scare contest. Hmm, OK. Let's do it. Yikes! <laughs> score one for Team Pumpkin. Team? I don't see anyone else. Uh, yikes! <laughs> oh, hi again, Bones. Team Pumpkin! Come on, Bones! Let's plan our next scare! Hmm, we have to come up with a good scare, Debo. What can we do? Huh? <gasps> I have an idea! I'll wear this mask and stand on your shoulders while you howl! <laughs> Let's go! This is gonna be good! Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! Score one for Team Flippy! <laughs> you got us good, Blippy! Yeah! 
Yeah. Nice work, Debo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Cool. A secret hallway? Huh? Oh boy, this is really going to scare them. <laughs> Hold on, Debo. I have an idea. Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out and scare Mr. Pumpkin and Bones. Hey, Bones! Let's hide in that cauldron and jump out to scare Blippi and Debo. Thanks! <laughs> I guess it's a tie. <laughs> All right. Halloween is the best! But I still don't know the answer to my question. Is it really fun to be scared? <laughs> yeah! yeah! All right, upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Thanks for an awesome scare contest, Mr. Pumpkin. I had a lot of fun. No problem, Flippy. I had a lot of fun, too. It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkeling. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Woo! Don't worry, Debo. Those aren't real monsters, they're trick-or-treaters! Cause it's Halloween! Of course, Debo! I can teach you how to trick-or-treat! Did somebody say trick-or-treat? Whoa! Oh, hi, Rita! This is my friend, Debo! Hi, Debo! I'm Rita the Raccoon, and Halloween is my favorite holiday! 
because of all the costumes? No, silly. All the free food! Ha! <laughs> well, you're just in time because Debo and I are about to go trick-or-treating. Wait, Debo! We still need a few things before we go. The first thing we'll need are costumes. Great idea! We'll be ghosts! <laughs> so fun! Even ghosts need to be able to see. There we go! Ooh! Boo! <laughs> I'm a blippy ghost! Whoa! <laughs> We've got a karate master trick-or-treating with us. Opa! And now a chef! <laughs> so cool! Boo! I'll just stick with a mask. Our costumes are ready. Time for the next step. Containers to hold our treats. Cool jack-o'-lantern pails. Ooh, my first treat! Now it's time to hit the streets. It's getting dark. A glowing ghost. Fun. Okay. <laughs> Be sure to pick a house that is decorated and lit up for Halloween. Then knock on the door and say, Trick or treat! Happy Halloween! What? Shoot! Remember, you can only go to each house one time and just take one piece of candy. Trick or treat! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Jackpot! That'll last you till next Halloween! <laughs> Whoa! Those scare me every time! Trick or treat! Look, look what, what I, I got. got! Whoa! Look at all these treats! Thanks for helping me teach Debo how to trick or treat, Rita! And remember, Debo, to trick or treat, you need a costume and a bag or pail for treats. Then, walk door to door, stop at the lit and decorated houses, say, trick or treat, to get goodies in return! And remember, you always need an adult. <laughs> yeah! Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet night, Rita. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs>